Okay, I want to make this video as help to anybody who bought a Dell Alienware and they don't know where to download the new drivers. And um, first of all, let me just start by saying this. If you bought the Dell Alienware Pro Keyboard and you bought the professional mouse and like me, you have the headphones too. And obviously, as you can see, I've got two Alienwares. One of them I use as a coin miner. I got to take that one back to my office because the electricity is free. And the other one I use is a 4K gaming station. Uh, hold on one second. Xbox mute. Xbox mute. Thank you. Okay. So anyway, I got the 4K gaming system right here fully loaded out. And then I got all this equipment. I also have the Dell Alienware 34-inch monitor. And before behind it, you can see that, you know, the monitor has its uh, color coding and everything. In this video, I'm going to put a link so that this way, if you don't have this new command center, I'm going to put a link for you to download it. Because what I've noticed is some people, after they change their hard drives, I upgraded my uh, SSD drive to a larger drive. And the problem was this program came as it was called Alien Effects. But now... They, when you put the keyboard and the mouse, when you plug those two things in, it comes up looking like this symbol and it's called the command center or the control center, right? Now, this comes with the keyboard or the mouse, but the problem with this is it only shows you the keyboard or the mouse. So I was using that when I first got it. However, this new uh, headphone came with this one right here called the headset center. Now the headset center obviously gives you control over uh, sound and this, that, and other, right? Right now, it's, I don't think it's connected because I turned it off, right? So anyway, um, I was looking for one program that combined everything. So the Alienware Command Center combines everything, as you can see. So right there, that's my chassis, right there. So if you want to change the RGB settings on this chassis, um, everything is pretty much right here. Now I'm going to have to look into this just to, you know, use it a little bit. I'm going to have to use it a little bit more so that I can figure out, you know, every single, um, every single uh, option on it. Because you got to play around with this just a little bit, you know. So you, you know, apply themes or whatever. Um, so anyway, as you can see, the um, monitor also shows up in here. The chassis shows up, obviously. So right now I'm running a green theme right there. It also turned my keyboard green. The monitor shows up, so let's see if I can swap my monitor. Let's see if I let's see how I do that. There you go. You see that turns the back of the monitor red. Let's try another color. Let's try another color. I could try yellow. Okay. Let's try another color. Um, purple. Got the purple back there. And uh, there's a number of uh, LEDs. There's a bunch of them actually. So once you once you fit got it all figured out, I got teal red green yellow you can also make your own custom colors these rgbs pretty much uh they can display pretty much uh anything you want them to display so there's that so the monitor and the chassis work together um there's also obviously the mouse right here so just like the other command center i can change that to something else i can change it to yellow as soon as you click it you don't even have to push apply so as soon as you click it, it's automatically changing. And uh, yeah, there are a, a couple of custom colors you could set. So uh, it all depends what your, uh, you know, it all depends what mood you want on your desktop. Now, one thing I noticed, the headphones don't show up yet. Now I'm guessing that's because they have to update it since the headphones just came out. But it looks like Alienware, they've made it so that all of their equipment basically shows up in their programs in this one specifically so right there that's the keyboard right there so if i want to change things on the keyboard i can obviously do this or i could go to the keyboard command center and i could change i could change all zones instantaneously you just you have to click select all zones and you can change the entire thing instantaneously like that but you know if you use the uh if you use the advanced mode, it's kind of not as good as using the keyboard uh, and the keyboard and mouse program that I just showed you. So I'm definitely going to keep that one around because, you know, it's like these three apps, as long as you have these three apps, you have complete control over the entire thing. So let me go back to my desktop. 
Um, it has RGBs on both sides of it, so I can set that to whatever I want. Like you can either do one, two, whatever. I can change all zones on this to red. I can change all zones to orange. It's really, really easy. You know, and um, you can have it morphing. So if you have it morphing, it can change whatever color you want. Um, or there's also pulsation lighting. So I can have it pulse red, pulse orange, so forth and so on. Morphing is uh, kind of nice, or you can just leave it a single color. You know, there's a lot of nice, um, there's a lot of nice colors on here because I notice a lot of people they put RGB lighting and LEDs into their uh, chassis now because everybody is basically getting uh, liquid cooling, just like I have liquid cooling. The only difference is my chassis doesn't have a see-through panel because the thing about it is when you buy the Alienware systems and you get an Alienware graphics card like a Titan, Titan XP, Titan 1080i, whatever, uh, they have closed loop cooling now. So basically you never really have to worry about refilling it. So the reason why a lot of people have glass cases is because they want to be able to see what's going on inside their chassis. But um, you don't really have to worry about that if, um, you know, if you have panels that you can't see through. So I'm hoping that Alienware, what they could do is they could turn these entire panels translucent. Like they could have glass panel, well not really glass, but they could have a see-through plastic panel. And then they could put these LEDs just like they have it. So this way you could actually see inside the case. Do they have to do that? No, they really don't have to do that. I personally like the way the tower looks, the way it is. So they don't really have to do that. You know, that's not something I'm, I'm not starving over it if they do that or something. I, I really, you know, I'll, you know, I could change all the zones. Let me see, I'll change all the zones to orange. I'll, I'll do it orangey orange for right now. I could also do the morph, morph color. But now, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just, some people like, oh yeah, why'd you buy Alienware? You could have, you could have spent less money and you could have gotten something half the price and it would be just as fast. It's like, guys, guys, it's not about how much it costs. It's about the style. I like the style of this. I just love the style of this thing. I like, on my desk, it looks fabulous, you know? And when I take the, um, when I take the uh, coin miner back to work, if I so choose to hook a monitor to it, what I could do is I could take the coin miner and I could um, I could put another one of these monitors because these monitors flew right off the shelves. Like if you remember, I made a video of these monitors on sale. I got this one for 700 bucks. Um, and there was another one I got for $999. These things have been marked down like ridiculously. And uh, then I, as you know, I just got the headphones and the headphones were, uh, what was it? The headphones were um, 250. But the thing about it is I like the way this looks on my desk. And I really like the design and, you know, yeah, you could buy a cheap ass chassis and you could put a Core i9, you could put the Titan XP in it just like I did. Thing about it is I don't like the way those cheap chassis look. You know, the EVGA chassis with the see-through side was like the only one I would have bought. But when I saw the Alienware stuff, I really, really liked it. So I went with Alienware. And I know a lot of people hate Dell. Oh, yeah, well, oh, Dell's big and blah, 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 blah. But the thing about it is when you get shit under a warranty, you ain't got to worry about none of that. And I'm pretty sure that I take care of my stuff well enough where I don't have to worry about that. So I really don't, you know, it's not a big deal to me. But, um, yeah, so there it is. I mean, that that's the uh, system. Now, uh, you have overclocking controls right here where you can um, easily get to overclocking uh, different cores. You can overclock individual cores. Like, um, let's say you're using a, a Core i7-5960 or you, whatever you're using, it doesn't really matter. You can overclock individual cores. I showed you how to do the installation on one of those processes. Because by the way, as you can see right here, I have three computers. I have the uh, HP Envy, I got this one, I got that one, but at my job, I actually have a couple of more computers because I do that bit, that coin mining, I should say. Right now, Bitcoin is fucked up. You don't wanna pay any money into Bitcoin. If you pay any money into it, you're probably gonna lose it. So I wouldn't do that. And you can also overclock DRAM here, as you can see. If you have a video card, you can pretty much go in here and overclock it. The problem is you definitely got to have um, you gotta have liquid cooling because if you try to overclock liquid cooling, you're, you're going to run into problems. Uh, without liquid cooling, your processor is going to overheat and then you're going to have issues. But also it allows you to control like the advanced stuff, like it allows you to have access to all of the advanced uh, functions and everything. And uh, I really, I gotta say, like, 
I could have gone with anybody else. I could have bought MSI, Predator. I could have bought an Asus, Predator, whatever. I could have bought MSI. I could have bought Asus. What is it? MSI, I think it's called Republic of Gaming. I didn't like the way that stuff looked. And I, I mean, it looked cheap. It looked like if I was going to get my son a gaming desktop and I only wanted to spend $1,000. Now, yeah, the starting price of these fucking things is high as fuck. Okay, I totally understand that. But the thing about it is I just didn't give a shit. So like this, it's like, where, where is it? Where is it? When you go, when you look, when you're looking at Alienware shit, you already know you're getting, you're getting, you're paying some serious fucking money. So the starting Alienware is $18.99. If you get that Core i9-7980, the processor alone is $2,000. So you, you're going straight up to seventy nine. dollars um, what is it, forty seven ninety nine, and they they did start marking these things down. As you know, Alienware has been knocking prices, slashing prices left and right. So I don't know, maybe they got something else coming, or maybe they just want to move this stuff. But they've been slashing prices left on right everything. Um, this you know most of these things are down by more than two or three hundred dollars, which is good. Thank thank you for that, you know. But um, my thing is, yeah, you're gonna spend some serious fucking money buying this shit. But uh, me personally, I, I did really well this year, so you know, I just I just wanted it, and that, that's all that matters. I just wanted this shit. So basically, um, the one thing I have to say once again is that my headphones didn't show up right here in the command center. But let me just double check. Maybe maybe if I change something, maybe if I double check on this. But even if they don't. I'm pretty sure an update is going to make it so the headphones do show up. But until that time comes, you can obviously use the uh, lighting system to... You can manipulate the lighting by um, going to the headphone control center, as you can as you can see. You know? And they make it so easy. And that, that's what I like. I like that they've been doing very good updates to their drivers. I like the fact that they've been doing... Um, um, you know, they have a good tech support center. Like, for instance, I, um, I called them asking them where I could get this program. And it only took me like four or five minutes and I was able to get it right away. I'm very happy to see that. And I, that's why I like their product. So, you know, right now I got, you know, two of these. And then I have an R, what is it, the, the smaller one um, at, at, at the office on my desk and whatever. And then, I, you know, I also did a video for the laptop that I have, the 17. Um, I keep that pretty much in my office, but um, I really like their project. You know, their products are really, really good. And yeah, you're going to spend up the ass for them. But the thing about it is I got so much more out of this than I would have gotten if I bought a MacBook or another MacBook Pro, I should say. I got so much more out of it. And if I had bought like MSI or if I bought Asus, I wouldn't have been as happy. And I'm pretty sure people listen. Oh yeah, well you could have just got your own case for two hundred bucks, and you could have got your process. You could have bought a Core i7 8700 for 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 only three hundred dollars, and then you could have put some RAM in. You only need a sixteen. You don't need thirty two. It's like, listen, I know you can build this shit. I know a lot of you are really good at building these things yourself. But me personally, it's just that that's absolutely not what I wanted. And since I write the checks up in this motherfucker. I'm the final word on just about anything that has to get done that has to do it right in a check. And that's all it is to it.